Let's continue. What's your sense of what we're doing? Nobody has a yes. Reaching out, Not looking it. for connection. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and then there could be a question. Is there, is there anybody out there that wants to connect with me? I send this message out. Is anyone going to connect with me? Okay, I can get a flavor for that. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, settle, open at a certain level. Sensing kicks in. Okay. What is that? What are you doing? Why are you doing it? What's the storyline here? I can extend into the world and still feel safe and grounded. Okay. okay, all right. Is the audience going to get anything out of that? Just a question to continue. What's your sense of this move? Dancing students? <laughs> I want the dancing students to get into a level of sensing. Okay. Yeah, got a, this dancer feels an arc of breath. It's like my breath oh, um, has become a big arc. Arc effect. Uh, what's the story? The arc effect is like, yeah, okay, I try to mathematically figure that out. What's the story? Launching into the world. Okay. So the or character. Leaping? Launching fine. The character. So the audience sees somebody who said, oh, it's time for me to go out into the world. And he's just, in essence, said that to the audience. So yeah, what's your sense? Good, continue. One more, somebody? You're on. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I, I, at first I said it was like a tornado, but honestly, it's more like flushing. <laughs> It's like being the swirling water and feeling the, the power of the, the sensor simultaneously. Okay. Probably there's a story in there someplace, but I missed that one, but that's me. Somebody else? Yeah. <laughs> it feels, I'll say something, it, it feels heavy, like in your hara in the center, but then kind of light through the fingertips. So I like that invitation, like inviting something. Yeah, you're, there's an invitation there, but. Okay, and on that one, uh, feeling heavy, my quick sense of what you said, uh, was feeling heavy, I'm sort of masculine, that's my yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. I'm masculine, and so as I put this out, uh, I'm saying to the lady, uh, I'm strong and capable. Give me your hand. I'll take care of you, or that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I can get a story out of that. I can see you on stage, and that's part of the story. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A sense of. Okay. <clears throat> the. <clears throat> Whoa. As I said, very smoky here. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> Uh, not just ideas about things, see, sense, sense should be at a certain level. Uh, the audience ought to see what you're doing. The, the story is in your movement, okay? Not just an idea, the sense of it, another, a better dimension. This is a dimension, this is a dimension. And sex of sense is a dimension. Okay? So, dimension. Go ahead, say what? I'm reaching out with strength and kindness. Uh, what and kindness? Strength. Strength and kindness. Strength and kindness. Okay. Yeah, it's similar to the previous one. Strength and kindness. Yeah, I'm going to get a flavor of that. Ah! A transformation kind of from here to there. 
Say again, please. Transformation. So from starting from one side and arcing to the other side feels like a transformation. On one side. Transforming to that side. Yeah, if this were seen clearly as being a side of, uh, let's put an imaginary uh, thin wall here. Suddenly I'm on that side or that side is partook of. Okay. All right. Last comment before I sit down. <sighs> Sensing. Sensing. I, okay, let's go over that again. Uh, just this general sense of sensing. Uh, oh, okay, let me go back. Uh, some of those things about, oh, being better centered, uh, being better uh, balanced. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Those are the things we use to get to a level where we sense. Okay, so they of themselves weren't mm, the, how to say, weren't what we were going for, uh, but we need them to get to where we want to get, to get to a level of sensing. We have to have some center, apparently, and some balance, apparently, some uh, presence fairly full, apparently, to get to <laughs> sensing whatever that movement is and being a better dancer, because we can tell a whole story in our movements. That's why we're the great dancer. Ah. No, I don't want you. I want my setup. Good stage hands are hard to come by. <laughs> she's doing very well. Yeah, she's she's catching on. Thank you. You might, you might want to tilt the easel a little bit. Tilt the easel so the camera can see it, please. Lucky. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> Damn. I wanted to play a, a, a little bit with this. I think, but a better level of view, the word sense comes in. Um, when we convert, I'm going to present this with a background of humor. I'm trying to be a nice guy here. Ah. When we talk, uh, we say, well, I think that, that, okay? I think that, that, yeah? Um, now, sometimes people want to impress you. So they'll say, well, my sense of that is that, 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 okay? Uh, because sense in that, form ha has a, a, a better, I think, we say um, off the top, you know, you're like, yeah, off the top, whatever I think, bing, there I said it. My sense of that infers more of that, that I've settled, I'm in a better dimension, and my sense of whatever you're saying is that. Okay, so far? Uh, now, uh, humorously now, I think some people try to impress others. And one way they kind of do that is they just thought about it, but they want to impress you. So they say, well, my sense of it is da, da, da. But did they really sense? Okay. Did they really be in that finer dimension where they can sense? things where it's a, 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 a more sensitive awareness experience. Did they really do that or are they just trying to impress you by using that word? Okay, a little, again, a little humor there. In case you do that a lot, I didn't want you to get up tight with me. Uh, so I say humorously. Uh, okay, comments on I think sense. 
what's your sense of this <laughs> layout? Open mic. So I feel you, I feel me. Makes sense to me. Pun intended. Uh, makes sense to me, pun unintended or intended. Uh, I, how do you tell the difference between I think and wait a minute? My sense of this is da da da. When I'm in the sensing area, it's more um, in my gut, my belly. That's where more more what? I, in more my what? in my gut. I'm more in my gut and in my belly. Okay, it's a feeling inside. Yeah. That's part of my body. Okay, feeling, yeah, feeling. Uh, we start to sense there's a lot more feelings. Okay, and again, there are uh, dimensional levels, if you would. Uh, uh, if Katya were to grab my arm, I feel that. But feeling, feeling. If she were to grab my arm at this level, I'd not only feel the grab, but I'd feel whether it's an outward spiral or a little bit of a push or a little bit of a pull or uh, if it has anger and tent behind it or a real deep, she really wants to touch me deeply. Uh, uh, at this level, uh, my feelings are, are finer. Okay, so again, any differences between I think and self senses? Uh, what's your sense when of the, this? When the sense happens, I feel like I'm in more internal inside myself. Yeah, okay. And I would say should be so. Uh, mm. That it, by doing this internal work that it can manifest out here. But it's mm -hmm. internal work being this manifesting out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember where the people screw all this up is they externalize, externalize. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like they, you know, outwardly develop their muscles and don't develop this inner better self. So mm -hmm. that's the big, that's a big distinction or where we lose people. Mm -hmm. uh, they'd rather be out there being busy than in here developing at which time they can function better because of this uh, better level of themselves. Mm. So anyway, just threw that in as, as an aside. Anything on this, does this excite you no end? Actually, uh, it also feels like a knowing to me. When I'm in the feeling, it just, there's something yeah. that's so affirmative that I feel it. I mean, I know it. Yeah, very, On that very, physical plane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, good. I, I like that. Yeah. In, in, in this uh, finer dimensions that we're calling sensing now, there is uh, a knowingness, a knowingness. Uh, that's why if you wanted to ask somebody an in-depth question, especially about yourself, uh, you would love them to be uh, this sensing deeper inner person uh, for the reason you said that there's more knowingness there. There's more knowingness there. Yeah? It's, it's the place of true understanding. Understanding. Not thinking <laughs> understanding, but true understanding. understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and of course, in the human condition, they're gonna jump to that word. Oh, I understand, understand. I can spell understand. I looked at it in four different dictionaries. I got it. Understand. Good, good, uh, good little play on words. Understand. I, I think of a joke here. Uh, you know, there's always a cartoon of somebody climbing up a mountain, and up there is a guy sitting. He usually has a beard. Uh, and they're going to ask him a question. I don't think they're going through all that climb the mountain trip. Uh, and he's just going to, oh, let me think about it. Okay, here's what I think. Uh, there, when we see that picture, it depicts somebody who has an inner knowledge of things. An 
and that's the guy you're going to ask questions to. Okay. 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 Anyway, just kind of like uh, we should have some cartoon to depict that somehow or other. Ah, anybody. I had okay. one thing. You know, I, I think a lot of times the way people communicate with each other, they, there's there are things we say in our language. Like, for instance, I'll say, "Oh, I'm sorry." I'm not really sorry at that moment. You know, like to be sorry means you feel sorrow. So I think in a way there's kind of a, we're used to being dishonest about that stuff. So having a process to get you in touch with your feelings and actually be able to say when you're feeling something is a gift because I don't think we're really culturally trained to do that. Um. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so just between us, we ought to be a little clearer uh, I don't know how we use words. Uh, so if if you say to another person uh, of the group, let's say, uh, well, my sense is uh, it ought to be clear to you and them that you really did a dimensional settling down shift. And you're sensing as best as you can at that level, because if you continue, there's finer levels and finer. There's super sensing, I guess. Okay. Uh, but at the level you're comfortably at, that you're speaking from there. All right. Uh, and now we can't do that in general public. We have to throw out the uh, words that I was at Ross uh, said about, oh, I'm sorry. Not that we really give a shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just a throw out thing. Uh, but some place we uh, should have a place where we could almost practice communicating with each other from different levels and seeing what words we use and what words just don't fit in and and if we're actually in in the place of those words uh, that would be an in interesting uh, class or workshop or something yeah, and it's a real good way to just check on your own honesty factor hang like on uh, I'm sorry, 30 seconds for a technical thing. Hang on. Well, stand by for due to technical arrangements. Regularly scheduled programming will return in just a moment. Are you also controlling the horizontal and vertical? Uh, we are controlling, we are adjusting for horizontal H and V sync. Uh, we are checking pedestal. We have, uh, please stand by. And I'm waiting for Ken Cron to give me the go ahead. Where's Sensei? That's a new game we're going to play. <laughs> Where is Sensei? He's in another dimension, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, I see. He's under Ken Cron's name. Got it. Right but the audio was coming through Katja's name. And that's why when I switch, we get Katja's still picture in between. Right. I believe that Ken is trying to fix that problem and we'll be right with you. Uh, NTSC never twice the same color, brings back memories, absolutely. Well, you can continue to do the movement that Bob was showing, or even imagine yourself doing it and playing with that fundamental shift that he's kind of always introducing. And it, I was talking with him just last week about how it's not like, you know, you kind of do your centering and then you go do some fancy technique or something. It's like everything comes out of that fundamental practice. And so staying with that fundamental practice 
uh, it's easy to kind of get ahead of ourselves or whatever. At any rate, these um, opportunities from the Kami to practice, no doubt. And I'm, um, I'm not sure where we're at. Okay. Uh, Sensei is back. And it's almost time. Are we ready? Well, we're apparently not quite ready. That's a classic audio feedback loop. And our skilled technical staff is on site. Bob, speak again. I am speaking. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Here we go, Sensei. I think we're back. And you're on again, Sensei. We're on. Ta-da. Okay. Uh, who was saying something before we cut you off? Uh, so, so Sensei, uh, I think it was Ross. Yeah, it's my, um, yeah, we're good. Um, yeah, I was just saying that, you know, because when you're little, you know, like you, let's say you, let's say you do something bad and, and somebody says, now say you're sorry to so-and-so, but you're not sorry. You really, so, so you say, I'm sorry, but you, you're, what you're really doing is disconnecting from your feelings. You know, so like in these techniques, like if we do this technique from the center and then ex express through the hand, we have to be honest about who we are. And I think for me anyway, in Aikido, that's always been the big, the biggest um, thing I try to do. And, and, and I think people, why I keep coming back to it is because I want to be honest in all things. And, and Aikido gives me a language to learn to be honest like that about my feelings, about when I'm just saying something. So. That, that's my dog, sorry, I'll, I'll mute. Mute your dog. Mute your dog. And Sensei, did you hear Ross's comment okay? Yeah. All good. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Anything else on this? I, I uh, can do a little IT demo thing. Uh, well, anything? I notice. I notice, Sensei, that you drew the circle which indicates thinking around the head, and the circle that indicates sensing around the hips. Yeah, lower is better. Yeah. So what happened now? We're okay. Yeah, we're good. We're uh, good. Uh, just if I say sense things, and it's not sensing. I. Uh, so it's just nice to have a location, a location for this. Uh, somebody said they brought it up. They said, "Oh, when I sense, I feel more some activity in my belly or something." Yeah, yeah. So, Ha, ah, be settled. It's a location. Uh, so, uh, uh, so just for clarity, I think self senses. Okay. And if there's no self present, uh, then I can't say, well, my self senses that, uh, those are bullshit words now. Okay. So whatever, uh, Anything, anything? We can move on. I move on. I have something that I'd like to say. Somebody talk, I can't hear. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No. Yes. Please yes. speak a little louder. Okay. Uh, I'm closer to my laptop. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Sort of. Okay, so from personal experience, uh, even yeah. today, um, yeah. let's I'm interacting with someone and they louder. are... Okay, uh, so let's say I'm interacting with someone and they are uh, upset, um, like upset at me or just upset at the situation. 
Um, and for me, I feel like I, um, I sense that a lot. And a part of me wonders if I, if I didn't sense it so much and I would, was able to think about it a little more, I could handle the situation better. Uh, but for me, the, the sensing of anger, the other person's anger is almost overwhelming. I, I feel like I just need to leave. Okay. Uh, within reason, I don't think you ought to cut yourself off. Uh, let, let me give you a practice here. The situation is an angry person at first. Of course, you aren't comfortable with an angry person and you're more sensitive than some others about an angry person, but we can all sort of relate, I'm sure. Uh, but because of that situation, remember the pattern, situation responds to self and self mixes, if you know my word, in a finer dimension, a better character who can be okay and not be disturbed by that. That's where it becomes water off a duck's back. At that level of being, it's water off a duck's back. But he called you an asshole. Ha! Nothing. That doesn't bother me because I'm who I am. It's nothing. Uh, so I think instead of running, if you have to and you want to, go ahead, feel free. Uh, but I think you ought to learn a very important trick here. Okay. Uh-oh, here comes an angry man. Boom. I better settle and open because my sis, my personal system is trying to mix up uh, the proper combination. It knows how to do that, by the way. The proper combination of mixing a character who can contend with that. So I think that should be your, your practice. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. If you're having a bad day and you want to run, go for it. But someplace in there, we should practice eventually. Now and then. Yes. Half, half of dealing with the angry people. Practice. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, thank you. Uh, anybody? Okay. Uh, let's do a little Aikido thing here. Um, again, got to move furniture. Sorry. No, no. Good job. Okay. Uh, just a reminder for the Aikido types. Uh, uh, I'm not on. You're on. Some, they I'm we're just on. we're just waiting for the stage props to be moved out. Okay. Uh, What I'm doing is I'm pulling myself in a bit too, and I think I see her and I react. Now, what it felt like to me was like I reacted to her. She caught me short. I had to see it, and then I reacted. Okay, so uh, at a tighter level, the uh, again feel late. Uh, I'm I'm crumbling a bit. I'm not fully present properly. Uh, da 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 da. Okay. Now again, your basics: easy and subtle. A little bit better. Easy and subtle. Easy and subtle. Easy and subtle. Now, as I easy and subtle, reaching at sensing, children. Uh, easy and subtle, sensing. She moves. And it felt to me not bad. Uh, uh, I've seen better, done better, uh, but it's, uh, it seemed that sensing that it, they move together a bit better. Okay. Sensing, wait, sensing. Oh, and I saw her move uh, before she actually started to move. Or I saw something that told me she was moving in. Sensing. Sensing. I noticed I did a different move. I hadn't planned on that. It just happened. Sensing maybe, maybe what that is, is telling me there's a lot of possibilities here. So if you go from a one thing response 
that's a certain level. There's another level where, oh, I can respond that way or this way or that way. Uh, you start to have more possibilities. That should happen naturally at a better level. Okay, but let's continue with sensing. Uh, so sensing. So much more information. Somebody brought up the word, uh, inf they didn't use the word information, but more knowledge. In the sensing place, there's more knowledge. One yes. of our females mentioned that. Yes. I forget exactly what word. Was it knowledge? There is a more knowing. Just the knowingness. Okay. Uh, now, now be careful of all these words because you go, okay, I got it. I understand. And, and you translate that experience to this idea, the thinking realm, the idea of it is not from the sensing. Now you've left the sensing place and you're someplace else. Okay. Uh, maybe how we can show that, uh, is that good, good enough? Uh, Let's see, sensing. From a sensing place, my relationship, of course. My relationship, of course. Smoother, more comfortable, more balanced, anything? Earlier connection. Earlier connection. It's nice. It just feels nice. Felt nice. Ah, uh, where do I want to go with that? Um, Oh, uh, the, uh, I want to uh, mention again that that thing, I don't think I need you anymore, gotcha. that thing of, uh, okay, so you've got this, uh, this, I think, and then another level of whatever I, and then another level, and someplace here, there is a sensing level, okay? So whether it's two levels away or three, arbitrary count. Uh, Florida, Amy, arbitrary count, however you want to count that. Uh, if they are dimensional, if you want to say they're dimensional, and whether you call each click, click a dimension, that's fine, as long as you know uh, what form uh, that you're counting. Uh, okay, now, so here we are in sensing, let's say. When there is an experience here, an experience, the information sends a signal back up to, to the I think place. So as soon as you have an experience, I expect that to happen. Uh, so what I've learned to do is to uh, not follow it and go there and stay there. Okay. Um, let me see what I do. Uh, Katra, I need you one more time. Okay. So again, a natural transmission, it naturally happens. Okay. Uh, so let's say, for example, uh, that's okay. let's say, for example, uh, okay, I felt my feet hit pretty balanced a little bit deeper. Now, because that was an experience, that knowledge is traveling from that experience, it becomes potentially, oh, my feet, balance, oh. Okay. Now, if I stay there, I know this, and but if I stay there, go ahead again, I get feet, and I start to do feet instead of getting back to that level where feet do feet, okay? And uh, by going back to the experience more fully uh, and along there, I also then begin to open. So the next level of this the level, okay, right now instead of feet, it's a deeper base and I felt a little boing, boy. So I'm starting to get a minor trampoline under here. So soon it's going to bounce back up is what it's going to do uh, uh, from my past experience with it. Uh, 
So all I'm trying to say is if you will have an experience and you're going to be aware of the experience, now we have to be careful what we do with it. I keep thinking about the experience. Uh, for one thing, if I'm thinking about the experience, I, I can't respond as well because I left this level of sensing, this level of sensing. Uh, so this signal is going to go on. Again, my trick is to not travel with it and stay there with it as that idea about it. And if I do bounce out a little bit, I know naturally happen a bit, I'm sure, uh, bounce out a bit, I immediately, immediately go back into the experience that I had, okay, experience, and add as soon as possible, open for the next, okay? So instead of going bit and losing it, loss it a bit, back to the experience, and open, and then here's, here's the next one. Zoom is starting to happen. Did I say that well? Was that? You could comprehend it? Comprehend Merci. Uh, you want to move that back for me again? Let me sit it again. Ooh. I forget where this goes here. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay. So, uh, if it wasn't clear, let me know. We'll try to clarify it. But it's an important basic. Uh, as you settle and sense, there'll be a sense of an experience, a sense of something. Okay? And be aware that that will send a message uh, back to a, to a smaller I. Uh, who could go off and off? Oh, let me think about that for a while. It's like, not now, you're on the mat. We're doing techniques. You start thinking about it, I'm gonna bowl your ass over, all right? Come back as fast as you can to the experience. And fully in that same experience, be open. And it starts the next level or dimension, if you would, of that. Now, did I lay that out well? Let me check with Brad. You follow that? Brad followed it. Katya followed it. What do you guys say? Any comment on that? Open mic? Yes. Mics are open. Please speak up. Yeah. Help. Help me here. <laughs> no? Nobody wants to help me? Mm. Uh, I, don't know I got a question. People. I'm going to give you a glass of wine. I, yes, question. I got a question for you. It's Roy. So uh, hey. why is the signal, why is, why is the sense experience sending the signal? Why? You may have caught me on that one. Uh, for, okay, I can make it easy to say, well, that's the way the system works. Uh, I don't know if I know why, Roy. It just does. Okay. Like it I'm just wondering why it would do that. Why it would send it up to this other area that is now going to do funny numbers with it. Maybe maybe that area is a storage. I, I don't know what you're calling computer talk. Maybe it's a storage bank and it just stores mm. it. I think I used mm. to explain it that way, something like, like that. You had an experience mm. and experience is being stored. You don't have mm. to uh, leave your computer and go to clouds in the sky or some building that, that uh, files away all this stuff. It just does. I oh. come back, continue the experience. So I think Got that's it. how I used to explain it. Uh, is that almost makes sense as a possibility? That's great. That makes complete sense to me. Yeah. I think I think the no. ego, I think the ego pops in. You know, I, I remember once I was on the mat with you, and you came in a showman, and I threw you, and for a split second, I checked to see how well I was doing, 
And in that moment, I was down on the floor I, because I went into my ego, right? I'm that checking. will teach you. Uh, she's calling ego uh, uh, lesser sense of self sluts a bit, at which time apparently I caught her off balance or something. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can't, if you're going to be functioning, uh, drift off, shoot off, go you lose your presence. You lose whatever assembly you have that can function better. And in certain situations, like martial arts or whatever, you can't do that. Cannot. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Amy. It was Amy, right? Thank you, Amy. Somebody? Anything on... Um, yeah, I'm not going you know off what, on uh, the story. What saying about <clears throat> getting up, it's sort of like, it's sort of like um, our cloud. Our ego is the cloud that so much information is shot up to. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I use ego a certain way, uh, maybe different than other people use it. Uh, okay, story. Uh, I'm in Japan. Uh, there's an American, yeah, an American guy training there a bit. And uh, one day he comes up to me at the do, uh, in front of the dojo. I said, wow, Sensei's got a lot of ego. And I went, huh? Tell me what you mean here. Well, he said he couldn't be defeated. And I laughed and said, that's a fact. So I use the word ego to mean uh, when somebody over, if you're a 10 pounder and you're trying to act like a 12 pounder, I call that ego. That's the way that I use that, that word. Uh, because some people don't want to feel themselves and be themselves because they're afraid. Oh, that's ego. No, no, that's, that's not though. Breathing, feeling sort of squared away. That's why he's not though. He's not sensei yet, but he's not though. And I think some people are even afraid to call themselves off or feel themselves because they have this ego confusion thing. So that's the way that I like to use that word. Uh, that if you get past your boundaries, if, you, if you're an idiot and you say, I'm great, then that's ego. If you're a 10 pounder and you say, I'm a 12 pounder, that's bullshit. Uh, uh, and on and on. Is that is that clear the way that I use that? I like the way that I use that. Okay. Yeah. And again, I think maybe based on if people are afraid of the word ego, they're misunderstand and be afraid of being themselves or saying, I can do that. Okay. If the plumber says, Oh yeah, I can fix that. And that's not ego, that's a fact. So I careful that word ego. It's been misused and screwed around with. So anyway, I like the way that I lay it out. Thank you. Somebody? Yeah, I'll, I'll say something. Uh, thank you, Sensei. I appreciate that demonstration. And um, I like what you're saying about time and just how when an idea. About, about what? Time. About what? Like time. time, like just, and with an idea, just that a sliver of time is too much time. And I noticed when we were doing that, dem that last demonstration, when you're kind of bringing Ruike down, like I was doing that a little bit. I'm like wanting to kind of, you know, throw her on the mat, so to speak. But then that little bit of time, you don't waste the time and the idea. And then all of a sudden at the end, you were like, you've been talking about dancing too. It's like a dance. Instead of throwing that Ruike down, you can like turn it into a dance is what it felt like. Okay. Uh, so what part did I miss there? I heard the story. What? Um, how could I say this? You said time, right? Yeah, well, time because, the, yes, time in that it, it seemed like when I didn't go to the idea, I could turn what was wanting to oh. take it, something coming okay. at me and throw oh, it. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah, you you, uh, if you're going to follow that uh, storage plan, you're wasting time. Yeah, 
and not to come back to where you should be in that case, uh, a lot of time can go by. Okay, and a lot of people come up here and they really get stuck there for a while. Mm -hmm. When, wait a minute, man, you were just here, present, sensing the technique, and suddenly being, and then they start to even go around and around on that, and they're really <laughs> wasting time. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, uh, that could be one reason not to do this. You're going to waste too much time and keep yourself in a precarious position. You can't do that if you're under attack, so to speak, you know. Uh, Thank you. And again, it doesn't have to be an attack. It'd be while you're driving your car in a lot of heavy traffic. Uh, you can, yeah, you're losing yourself as driver, driver present, driver aware, driver responding. Yeah. Uh, so you really can't get carried away there. All right. So not just martial arts, but proper sort of living. Yeah, it's a new perception of time. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I was also uh, uh, here uh, wondering where you're going with the time thing, because in a, in a little bit finer dimension, uh, our our time sense changes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brad, that you not here, we bore you. She's coming. Okay. Uh, what I want to do with time. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Again, if I play the game of boxing in a bit to be a Bobby, if you would, that's all right. Can you get word? Oh, oh. Okay. As you settle and open, different dimensions, so the time begins to change. I think in Aikido, a lot of people started there, oh, 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 okay? And then after a while, they're training, and it's more, oh, I move, okay? Now, possibly one of their misunderstandings is, oh, I'm getting better at doing this technique. But if you're to really check, in training, they sort of naturally settled a bit. Okay, it will happen as you train a bit, potentially. Uh, they've naturally settled a bit, so they're in a different level or dimension of themselves, just because they settle a bit. And their time, oh, there's so much time. I've got all day before I move kind of flavor. The sense of time time and space, time and distance changes. Uh, and a lot of people think, well, that's because I learned to do the movement. And I think, no, really, really what happened was in settling and doing your basic stuff, you naturally settled into a better level of you. And a better level of you, time is different. Okay? Thank you, uh, Ms. Katja. Did, did, that, did I say that? Okay. Did that come out right? I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, okay, my funny story is uh, judo teacher I had back in the day. Uh, and he had a tough wife and she got angry at him. Uh, she grabbed the iron and she swung the iron. He's a damn good judo guy. But he said, if I block her out, she's going to bug me all night long. I don't want to hear about it. So he gutsied. He stood there while she was swinging that iron towards his head. And he stood there, stood there, cracked. He allowed her to hit him. And he said, well, I could feel the echo in my head and whatever, whatever. But he said, I never forgot this. He said, it took so long. It's like, like he could go out and have lunch while she was swinging. <laughs> and she wasn't a wimp, this lady. She was pretty tough. And uh, so the swing was coming pretty good. But in accepting the situation, 
it should have took forever. Interesting, guys. Mark that story down as being meaningful. I didn't totally understand how it worked and stuff, but I knew it was meaningful. So in accepting, I surmise now in retrospect that in accepting this, uh, that he just naturally settled and that, uh, so he was in a different zone, a different dimension, therefore a different time zone, and, and, and things were just different. Yeah, I thought it was a cute story. What do you got to say out there in the world? Anything on anything. I think I sense sensing a bit lower. And of course, again, just to remind there'll be finer levels of sensing. So you get to a level where you have, oh yeah, this is this is sensing. Uh, then if you want to continue, if you want to be continue to be an inquirer, uh, then after hanging out there and getting some flavor for that, however long that takes. A couple of minutes, a couple of hours, a couple of weeks. What's the next level? Okay, I'm experiencing all of this sensing. Now the next level of sensing. So you give of yourself, touch the next level of sensing. That's a dimensional move, if you would, okay? So don't, don't forget, it goes on and on for quite a while. Uh, careful, it's not an endless universe, uh, but it's pretty damn big. Right? Uh, if we tell people that it's endless, uh, then they'll be like, oh, I went through three dimensions or five dimensions or 12 dimensions, whatever. Oh, I'm getting tired with this. You mean, you mean there's another 812,000 dimensions? Screw this. I don't want to do this. Uh, but in fact, it, it, it is a coverable size. Okay. Oh, since they covered it and continued through to the pre of it. Uh, so it's a, it's a, a set size. It's bigger than hell, but it's a set size, something like that different discussion. Uh, oh, one thing I just mentioned, though, I sort of, uh, I, whether I said it or gave the influence, a trade in. I, I, I'd like to play a little bit with that, uh, the way I use those words, trade in. Bobby trades in so that Robert can be there. Okay, just another, a different style of clearing. Remember, clear, clear, clear Bobby. Robert will be there, okay? Um, uh, but I like the word trade in. Some people might, might get a little better sense. So maybe next week we'll, we'll play with that uh, uh, sense, trading in. Okay, we're getting close to end time here already. What, uh, something. Sensei, I, uh, this is Lauren. And if I could, um, in other times, you have talked about the innate intelligence of the system and okay. you have talked about trusting the system right and so can you talk a little bit about trusting the sense in other words this this sensing okay. uh, how do we, how do okay, we learn first first remember the uh, the earlier i I'm not sure. I don't trust. I'm a critiquer. Uh, I have to understand it before I can do it. Uh, that that it, it, it interferes then by hanging on to that view interferes. That's where we got it to easy the eye. I know you have those feelings and those thoughts. Yes, yes, yes. Easy means settling opening. Following the eye, right? Easy, settle open. Uh, so you got to remember that tighter eye uh, is very critical, very often negative. Uh, it's probably a good side too, but I don't want to get into that part of it now. Just looking at the negative of it. it uh, you can have an experience and not trust it. You just had the experience. I saw it and I got a good eye. You had the experience. 
and say, okay, this happened to me more than once. A newer person would do a, a technique and it was like, wow, great. And I'd say to them, that was great. And you know what I heard more than once? I didn't do that. What happened? Possibly one thing that happened is they, it happened and then it went back to the eye and, and you complimented them on that great technique. But I didn't do that. Well, I don't know how to do that. I couldn't do a great technique because I'm an idiot. Uh, but, but to have them answer me back with, I didn't do that. Now, it wasn't the advanced form. The advanced form is where, uh, which will happen to everybody, hopefully, eventually, uh, where, zoom, the technique just sort of happens. And I didn't intend to move or, or even tell myself to move. It just moved. And okay, one zoom, zoom, to such a point we say, did you fall for me? Because I didn't do anything. And okay, looks at you and smiles and says, no, man, that was great. Uh, and you say, what the hell just happened? Because you knew you didn't do your normal throwing. Okay? Uh, uh, so that may be a little different angle on it. But where, where are we? Uh, Lauren, back to you. What, just, what was the second part of the question? How, how, how do we, what guidance can you give us for trusting our sense, our sensing, our experience? I don't know, wasn't that in the dance? I would hope, let me, see. Let me go back to the dance for you. Okay, I noticed my knee is turned in, inward. Just a noticement. Everything else felt not too bad. Easy, settle, open. Ooh, this feels more flowing. I hang out with it and feel it. it my structure feels a little bit better. Just structurally, it feels better. And by the way, my knee straightened out on its own. I didn't work it to be straight. It just stood straighter. I'm beginning to trust if I open up that the system will perform better. If I give it room to perform better. Okay? Now, if you don't understand that the... Uh, the system, the energy, the water is intelligence amongst other, other things. Uh, uh, they think I'm intelligent. Uh, then you, you, it's like you're never going to catch this. Because I'm intelligent. I got to know. I got to figure this out. Is that no? What did you do? I don't know shit. Hey, tell me how it works. And then it starts to work. Hey, tell me how it works some more. And it shows me how it works better and better. I just do these dumb games to get feedback that, hey, I just settle and open and it worked better. How do I know? I could feel it. Or I ask Charlie, Charlie, look at me. I'm going to do 10 of these. And if it gets better, Charles, hey, it's getting better, man. Uh, so I'm sort of, in a certain way, not even sure what you're asking. How do you trust it? <laughs> Raise your arm. We've done that dumb practice. Easy and settle. Raise the arm. We're inferring by settling. We're moving into a finer dimension. Easy. Settle. How do I know I'm settling? I'm starting to feel my actual feet touch the ground. That clues me a bit. Oh. That arm floated a bit, and I noticed there wasn't a shoulder heavily lifting it. Uh, aren't I proving to myself that in a better dimension, a better settling, a better opening? Oh, this one's going to be longer. There we go. It feels longer. Okay. Now, if I measure it, it probably won't be. But my sense of it is longer. And my functioning would be longer. I, I, I would see how I'm uh, catching or... Katya would say, oh, you caught me before I, whatever. I can kind of feel that. Uh, so, I don't know. What more do you need is kind of what I'm saying. Uh, Bob, you know? this is Diana. So, I mean, I'm yeah. not sure if Lauren, if Lauren was thinking the same thing, but, you know, your examples of um, feedback and, uh, um, and then functioning are all physical. You know, I mean, that's, it's, it's like, that's why we love Aikido. I mean, because on the mat, we get to, we get instant feedback if we jump from sensing to head, you know, it's very instant. But in off the mat, um, it's harder for many people to 
trust what they're sensing because we don't have the same kind of feedback. That is that the trusting uh, you're talking yeah. about? Uh, I find some ways to practice. Earlier, I said uh, to the lady, oh, you're upset by angry people? Okay. One practice is settle and open. It'll mix up a character level you. Who can contend with that better? How? I don't know. Will she be stronger and say, don't yell at me, asshole, I'll punch you out? Maybe. It'll be, oh, understanding. Oh, he's not angry at me. He's angry at the world. Oh, okay, I won't take it so personal. I don't know what it's going to mix. All I know is it's going to mix up a better in that situation because that's the law. So if you need more practice with outside things, uh, I, I, I don't know. I have to think of some simple games. I'm sure we've talked about simple games before uh, of living in the world. Uh, it doesn't have to always be katatori, you know, ski. Uh, well, Sensei, this is Lauren. Uh, you as a car driver, huh? I just wanted Hang to say it. Running out of time? No, well, so go. I just wanted to say that you've more than answered my question. You've, as you've said, your own senses give you your own feedback to prove it to yourself. And at some level, you just have to accept that and let go the the questioning critical mind. And I think you've said that now. And so I don't mean to hog it's, the theme. That level is always questioning and always critical. It's always there. If you go back to it, he's still there. Weird Bobby is still here. I just don't get that tight, hopefully, anymore. I feel I'm compressing in, if you would. Uh, the, oh, I don't want to go there because I know where I'm going. It's crazy land for me. It's, it's not nice. I choose not to. I choose to do our practices, to settle and open and let the energies balance and all of that stuff. I choose to do that because I don't like weird body anymore. And I do like the better levels of Nado plus, plus, plus. Okay. Um, anyway, back to Diane. Diane, I taught you this before in the world. You used to, probably still do, maybe, I hope not, drive the car like this. And I would make jokes at you about, is your nose going to get to your destination faster? Because you're hovering over the steering wheel like that. That was the first introduction to settle. Easy. This next level could drive the car. But this level driving the car was a bit funny and a bit tiring. Tiring to watch and must have been tiring for you. Maybe you didn't notice you're getting tired. Maybe you thought that was normal driving. You've got to get tired if you're going to drive for a long time. Uh, so uh, if find your own daily life practices. Uh, uh, granted, maybe harder dealing with people, uh, but maybe prep yourself for the practice. You know, you're going to deal with this idiot, same idiot you have to deal with every day, let's say. Not your husband. I'm not talking about him. Sure. Uh, but uh, somebody at work who's kind of annoying. Uh, but practice. Uh, today, I'm going to settle and I'd like to be the character who, uh, whatever you want to say, better align to the, the, the pain in the neck guy. Easy. I got to see that pain in the neck guy. Okay, easy system, help. <sighs> who do I have to be to be better there with him? And, and, and you set it up earlier and see how it works. <laughs> okay, so you can set up your own games. And in a certain way, he's an uke. He doesn't know it, but you set him up as an uke, so you get to practice. Okay. And, uh, probably, uh, probably a good one to do before I call uh, a customer service, uh, somebody in customer service, before I make the phone call to a customer service person and you get all those things. Okay. And you, 
the irritated. Okay. Yeah. Come up with your own games. There's a million potential games. Okay. Uh, I'm a martial artist. I like martial arts. So I gravitate to Aikido to do this because so Sensei was there. Uh, but this is just to give you an example. Uh, it's not meant to hold you into an Aikido dojo style period. Uh, so people are misunderstanding and say, well, I can't do Aikido, so therefore I cannot develop. I cannot enjoy the, the energies I used to enjoy in the Aikido dojo. It's like, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> They're available. <laughs> okay. Yeah. In your living room by yourself, be an Aikidoist or a dancer or whatever. Uh, play. <laughs> I think we ate up a lot of time here, so I don't want to keep you hanging. Anything to finish up? Nobody, nothing? Yeah. Sensei is Plater. Um, it seems like what I'm getting from tonight's teachings is um, when we're up in the head, when the ideas and the small self, the tie dye for me, there is time. And it's all over the place and it's future past. But when I go into my deeper knowing, time disappears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it disappears, it changes uh, dimensions of itself and it doesn't disappear, right? But it's different. Time, oh great, time as you knew it disappeared. You're still in a time zone, you're not a sensei yet. I said there was no time, no space before Uwe Shiva of Aikido. We're not quite there yet. I'm not anyway. Uh, uh, time as you knew it disappears. You're in a different time zone. It might be a better way of saying that. Okay. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah, dimensional sense. Okay, people, anything we're going to finish up here? Thank you so much, Sensei. It was uh, wonderful tonight. And uh, thanks to Ken and Brad and Katja for supporting us all and Richard. And thanks to everybody for participating and with such good questions and comments. Uh, thank you so much, Neto Sensei. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Warren, too. Ciao. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thanks, Sensei. Oh, you too, huh? Okay. Thank you, and uh, I'm going to turn your camera off, Sensei, so thank you so much. Good night. Okay. Good night, everyone, wherever you are. Good night, Lauren. Good night, good night. Good night. We can't see you waving because you're... Oh. Good. Take, take okay, all right, okay. Bye-bye. 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 Good night, Jack. Good night, Al. Good night. Okay, good night. take care. Okay.